Hello, I'm Jay Jackson. Welcome to WineNewsNoir.com. Thank you for watching and subscribing. We begin this episode with money, $25,000 in cash. That's how much the Association of African American Vintners is raising to invest in the future of wine and diversity. If you dream of owning a vineyard, most vineyard owners will tell you it takes a lot of work and a lot of money. The work will be up to you, but the money part, you have some help. We'll be awarding $5,000 grants. Angela McCray is the executive director of the Association of African American Vintners, known commonly as AAAV. The organization just launched its campaign to raise $25,000 for its Wine Entrepreneur Grant, a program that will give five wine-related business owners $5,000 cash. Primarily in the negotiant, vintner, and grower membership level. Um, this will allow these businesses to have impact through their marketing, operations and innovation to further their business goals and their accomplishments when it comes to producing wine. AAAV is calling on corporate donors, members, and philanthropists to contribute. McCray says it's an investment in diversity and inclusion. Applying for the grants start in January 2023 and board members will determine the recipients. In order to be eligible for the grant, you have to be a AAAV member. But McCray says the decisions will be based on AAAV's core principles. No, this is for people that are committed to their wine business. Um, this is our first time launching something like this. So we really thought it was important to start with our core foundation of what the organization was founded on, which were grape growers, wine producers, winemakers, and negotiants. And so through this, we are now providing them with financial resources to continue their operations. We do have quite a few, over 60 members that fit into that category primarily which are African-American owned. And so we want to continue to invest in them and provide them with that success and that growth opportunity. For more information on the grant, go to AAAVintners.org. Full disclosure, this journalist is a member of AAAV. And now here's the December edition of Wine in a Minute with Janine Robinson. Thank you, Jay, and welcome to Wine in a Minute. I'm Janine Robinson. More jobs, more French wine, and more wine gift givers are the top stories for this month this minute. The good news continues for wine-related jobs in America. WineJobs.com's Winery Jobs Index rose 29% from last year at this time. The biggest number of hires were for vineyard workers, winemaking assistants, and production staff. Direct-to-consumer job openings saw a 3% drop. It's called Enseignant and it's the first new wine line from Chateau Lafitte Rothschild in more than 100 years. With 48% Merlot, 39% Cabernet Sauvignon, and 13% Petit Verdot, the wine is named after a 16th century hamlet that was part of the famed chateau's property. The newest wine gifters list is out and the nation's capital has the most wine gifters in the U.S. Washington, D.C., Delaware, Colorado, New Jersey, and Maryland are the top five. The list was compiled by the custom wine gifting company, Finally, Football Hall of Famer Terrell Owens is making touchdowns in the wine world. I talked with him in Inglewood, California, as he released his latest wine. Fires up the middle, passes caught by Owens. Hall of Fame wide receiver Terrell Owens, better known as T.O., gained star status in the late 1990s and 2000s for his big plays and big personality. <laughs> Now he's known for his big bowl Cabernet Sauvignon called 81. Tio stopped in 1010 Wines in Inglewood to meet fans and introduce the Hall of Fame version of his wine. Thank you. I talked with him about his passion for the grape. What are the biggest challenges you face as a winemaker and how did you overcome them? Really, the biggest challenge? Uh, I don't know, probably getting people that are on the fence uh, about drinking wine that really never really had any experience, um, getting at least taste it, uh, kind of get acclimated, you know, get their palate you know, uh, ready for, for, for different types of wine. Teo launched his first vintage, a 2017 cab, in 2020 with the help of baseball legend Tommy Lasorda. Since then, he's been pitching his wine around the country, making new fans everywhere he goes. What advice did you get when you were starting out? Did anybody give you any really good advice? Or how did you um, not much advice. I think for me, it was just really trying to become knowledgeable with wines and become a little bit more knowledgeable about 
uh, the fruits and, and how it's made, uh, the different grapes and, and different places in which wine is made. Then Eric Bowler says he had to have a try. Yeah. So, what did you think about the wine? Well, oh, I enjoyed the wine. You know, um, I've been wine. I've been the wine about ten years now. And I'm always up to trying new wine. So I say, why not come try some wine down here at ten ten? You know, I came to a bit before, but since the other ones here, I'm going to give it a shot. But the wine was good. And are you a football fan too? I am a football fan. Yes, I <laughs> okay. am. Okay, that might have a little bit. Yes, that does. Yes, yes. We're up and coming winemaker, somebody young starting out. What advice would you give them? Um, again, I think just become knowledgeable about really kind of the whole process of, of winemaking. Uh, for me, like I said, I wasn't really experienced and have any knowledge uh, about it at all. Like I said, growing up in Alabama, we're not really, you know, in the South, not known for drinking wine. And then I played for San Francisco, which is, which is right in the backyard of wine country. Um, so again, just being introduced to this through some mutual friends. And then again, just uh, trying to uh, really create and, and put a wine out there that's that's, like I said, palatable, um, not dry. Because you think about the three characteristics of Cabernet is, is big, bold, and dry. Owen says he plans to expand to other wine varietals such as Chardonnay and Sauvignon Blanc in the near future. For Wine in a Minute, I'm Janine Robinson. Jay, back to you. Okay, thanks for that, Janine. And finally, celebrated winemaker Theodora Lee travels the globe discussing her wine, but she recently stopped in Los Angeles to meet fans and make friends. I'm Theodora. I am the owner and founder of Theopolis Vineyard. By day, Theodora Lee is one of the most respected trial lawyers in America. And when she's not doing that, she's either selling, telling, or teaching people about her award-winning wines from her Theopolis vineyards. We are located in the Yorkville Highlands of Anderson Valley. Adam's Wine Shop carries Theopolis vineyards. When I am in town, it is very important for me to come and do a tasting with an institution like Adam's Wine Shop that carries our wine to meet the sommeliers, the chefs, and to bring in my customer base to have them support a local wine shop, a black-owned wine shop, to be particular. That is very important because you have to lift as you climb. And they have been supportive of Theopolis Vineyard since the beginning. So I am also introducing my friends in the LA area to Adams Wine Shop. And that is very important to continue and keep the money in the community. I want to do Meet the Winemaker because I love for the community to see a face behind the brand. It's really inspiring, especially within the African-American community, to see African-American winemakers within an industry that you don't really see that much representation. So doing a Meet the Winemaker or having the winemaker come down, it gives the, comp the community an opportunity to interact and know more about wine. Happy birthday to you. Known worldwide as Theopatra, Queen of the Vineyards, tonight Lee brought her encyclopedic knowledge of wine to the Adams Wine Shop in the eclectic West Adams District. It's a rolling tasting, the way they have here. Holding court with a select group of mostly African American wine lovers, Lee gave inside information about her Petite Syrah, her rare Cuvée, and her even rarer Symphony. She sells through an exclusive network of wine shops and restaurants. All of it, Lee says, leads to educating people about wine. We as people of color like to drink wine because it makes us feel good. But what are we drinking? So that's why it's so important to have wine educators, people who talk about how you make wine, what you're drinking, the acidity, the minerality, where the grapes come from, what they taste like. It is important to know what you're drinking, not just the feeling you get from drinking the wine. For Harold Bex and Gail Jackson, it was time well spent. I am so proud of what Theo Lee has accomplished in such a very short time as a wine producer. Theo has a way of being successful at anything she does. What's the most impactful thing you heard tonight? I think her history, um, it's you know, how she how she bought the land, how she cultivated the grapes, the cooperation from the other vineyards, the cooperation from the other winemakers, 
I think I learned a lot about that. And, you know, we love Theo, we love the supporter, we love her wine. I, I learned a lot about um, the blends um, that she offered, why she offered them. Lee does this all around the world, telling people about her wine, advocating for African-American winemakers, a passion that started decades ago with the Association of African-American Vintners, the largest advocacy group of its kind. And just like her grapes, the best part is watching it grow. I am excited because when I started in this business in 2001, when I planted Theopolis Vineyards, there were five of us. I was a grower. Mac McDonald, who was the founder of the Association of African American Vintners, was a grower. Lou Garcia, I mean, these folks, there were like five or six members. I'm one of the charter members of the Association of African American Vintners, AAAV. And now we have over 250 members, growers, wine brands, sommeliers. That's a beautiful thing because with everything, diversity brings quality. Full disclosure, Theopolis Vineyards is a sponsor of WineNewsNoir.com. And that's going to do it for this episode. Once again, thank you for watching and subscribing. I'm Jay Jackson. Cheers.